Who knows why Nevada, above all other states, kept that Wild West mystique? I guess it just tends to draw a certain crowd. Independent, proud, and a little unusual. Brandon! Hey! How you been? 80 miles south of Fallon is Gardnerville, and a meeting place for the Wild West's most infamous secret society. My buddy Brandon here is a certified member. Or is that certifiable? Either way, this ain't your granddad's Elks Lodge. I knew you belonged to a, uh, a crazy club, as you put it. What is it exactly? E. Clampus Vitus. E. Clampus Vitus. And obviously, that sounds Latin to me. What the hell does that mean? Well, no one really knows. I can't tell you. <laughs> but I can tell you it's the oldest fraternal order. Adam was the first clamper. <laughs> Now, of course the original center had to be a clamper. Who else? George Washington and Julius Caesar? The first thing you should know about clampers, you gotta take what they say with a grain of salt or a shot of moonshine. But like any good fraternal order that's a little wacky, which I love, there's drinks involved. Today we're out here to make a shotski. Shotski? Shotski. Can you have shotskis after brewskis? Uh, you can have them before and after. Shotski? Shotski. A way for five people to take a shot all at once. Okay, let's Perfect. do it. Eat Clampus Vitus. This chapter of the Clampers is named after Snowshoe Thompson, a legendary skiing mailman from Norway known for saving prospectors caught in the snow-covered Sierra Nevadas. In his honor, the Shotski was born. So this is the beginning of the Shotski. And in spite of their tall tales, historians will tell you the beginning of E. Clampus Vitus was in 1849, when a guy named Ephraim B. was rejected by the stuffiest, most old-school fraternal order there ever was, the Masons. So, being a great man, he said, well, I'll just start my own group and make fun of everything that you guys are about. And it actually really caught on in the mine camps in the area because all those other fraternal orders were like the mine owners and the business people. This was for the common guy. This was for the common man. The Clampers have always been committed to keeping their order ridiculous, but they were also committed to their fellow miners. If a member of E. Clampus Vitus died in the mines, then the organization would take care of his wife and kids to make sure they were fed and had a roof over their head and all that. That's a wonderful thing. I will toast to you for that. <laughs> Cheers. So this E. Clampus Vitus thing, right? To be in it, what did you guys have to do? We can't talk about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it only takes 10 minutes. Is it initiation, hazing? Is it a quiz? Why is everybody so quiet all of a sudden? I don't know. I don't know. It's about to happen. <laughs> when you're doing shots with the brothers from E. Clampus Vitus, to be in it, what did you guys have to do? We can't talk about that. Don't push him too hard for secrets of the brotherhood. Uh-oh. Why is everybody so quiet all of a sudden? I don't know. I don't know what happened. About the hell? really intense. <laughs> when you become a clamper, you're a brother of equal indignity. Oh, fantastic. So we're all I'm not indignant. dignified at all. While you can't get a straight answer from a clamper, you can get a straight shot. For the shot skis, we're using the, the Aquavit. Oh, Aquavit, because of snowshoe. Yeah. So this is it. Linny, Aquavit? It's made from Norwegians. It's made from Norwegians. <laughs> How strong is it? Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. This Norwegian Aquavit is distilled from potatoes to a crisp 41.5% alcohol. Then it's flavored with caraway, dill, aniseed, fennel, and coriander. And then aged in oak sherry casks. Right, now hold on, hold on. Right. We don't say any secret thing. It's the ECV. Well, Come on. Tell you okay. So the answer, so you know, yeah. is satisfactory. Okay. What say the brothers? Satisfactory. satisfactory. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Ha! <laughs> That's good stuff. Woo. Now that we hit that, what do we do for fun? To the barn! To the barn! To the barn! To the barn. If you thought the Shotsky was just an excuse to drink, well, you're right, actually. But it's also another important part of what these guys do, preserving the history of the Old West, which is why we're heading eight miles northwest to the tiny town of Genoa, home of the Genoa Bar. Founded in 1853, it's the oldest watering hole in the state. Mark Twain, Ulysses S. Grant, and Teddy Roosevelt have all bellied up to the bar here. The Clampers even put up a plaque to prove it. Oh, look at who's here! 
Everybody looks like you guys. What's say the brethren? Satisfactory! For what's the best part of being a clamper? Brotherhood. Satisfactory. Satisfactory! Satisfactory. They're a real tight-knit group. And now they're going to teach me how to make one of their favorite cocktails. Where does this yucca drink come from in the history of the ECV? I don't know, because I fell in the fire pit when they made that. <laughs> okay, we'll cut off that guy. All I know about yucca is that it's a desert plant. Yucca! 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 And these guys must really, really like their desert plants. So how do you make yucca? It's a traditional clamper drink. But I think we really stole it from, like, college frat boys, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it's gotta be good, right? <laughs> yeah. And I guess frat boys love ice, because this drink starts with half a glacier. Use about a cup of sugar on the ice. So citrus, orange, lime, lemon, and grapefruit, huh? I'm starting to realize there's actually no yucca in this drink called yucca. But I guess when you're drinking with clampers, Things don't always make sense. Now we're gonna put tequila in there, but here's the secret. The worse the tequila, the better the yucca. How bad can tequila be? Hold on, before you put it in. It's a plastic bottle, but. Yeah, put my That's pretty bad. Pretty bad tequila, yeah. Is that regular or unleaded? <laughs> and who gets to shake this thing? You do. Everybody. We all do. Everyone shakes it. The people who don't shake, we boo the non shake But well, we roll it up in a, in a nice wet towel here, and then we shake it until the towel roll freezes. That in. Wait a minute. The towel actually the freezes? Towel actually freezes. freezes. Who thought of that? Frat boy, right? Frat boy. <laughs> all right. Yep, this goes on for about another 45 minutes. I really wish that trained a little more with that shake weight. After a couple of times around the shaking circle, it's time for the big reveal. Feels frozen? Look at that! Satisfactory! So, as our special guest, Take the first poll! Yucca! Yeah. 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 Drink it! Drink it! That's right! Yucca! <laughs> Come on, drink Keep it! Keep going! Yeah. 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 Now I know where you get the name! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Now we just do that all day till it's gone? Pretty much. Oh, good. We might be here for a while. <laughs> the Clampers are equal parts historical society, drinking buddies, charity group, and comedy troupe. Like the Genoa Bar's most famous patron, Mark Twain, once said, laughter without a tinge of philosophy is but a sneeze of humor. Genuine humor is replete with wisdom. Yeah! So these guys must be geniuses, right? Yeah! One say the brethren! Satisfactory! There's nothing like the great woods of the western U.S. But as serene as they are today, these forests were once home to some of the wildest places on Earth. The logging camps out here were full of tough guys,